Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Xbox Series S uh, console. This one is the one without the DVD drive on it, so it's the internal storage uh, version. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can clean and replace your consoles. If yours is running really warm, it just feels like a, sounds like a jet engine, then you probably want to open it up and clean it. I'm going to make a... Uh, you can follow this way halfway through to just clean the fan and the dust or you can continue watching it until you get to the portion where you can change the thermal paste which I really recommend it to do it once every year, every two years depending how many hours a day you use it. I recommend you to do the thermal paste. It uh, can transfer the heat easier to, uh, easier to the heat sink and while you're doing that you can clean up the fan system. So I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. Tool number one, a good screwdriver set. I fix the screwdriver sets are one of the best screwdriver sets out there. These are made out of S2 class steel. We're gonna be using a torque number nine. And we are gonna use a, a little cutter right there. And we are gonna use a spatula, a workshop towel, one sheet of the workshop towel, Alcohol, isopropylic, or isopropylic 95% plus alcohol, and you need a good thermal paste. I recommend you guys to go with a thermal Grizzly Extreme, or you can go with Arctic MX4, which is really good too. So this one, I'll leave the link for a good thermal paste in the video description in case you want to choose yours. And with all this on hand, uh, all, you don't need a used or new toothbrush to clean up the fan system. With all this on hand, we're gonna get it started. First thing first, you wanna, at the back of the console, you wanna remove these two plastic covers in here. Put a cutter yeah. right on top, it just left it. You can throw it out, you just leave it, you just cover up the screws. It's not a big deal. So remove these two. Next, you wanna remove two screws at the back here. And once you remove that, you want to slide the back bottom cover towards yourself a little bit and then lift it up. You can take it outside, wash it, clean it, let it for dry. Next down here, we're going to remove in the green screws and we're going to remove the rest of all the screws. I would recommend you to remove it. The green screws are the longest screw that goes all the way in and the shortest screws, they only go a little bit in. They're really short. So you cannot put a short screw in a long screw press, so pretty much it will not go through. All right, so remove all the screws. If you just want to clean the dust, you don't need to remove these black screws in here, but if you want to remove the thermal paste, uh, you do need to remove these uh, black screws right in there. So go ahead and remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my video, if you find my video helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, once we remove this one, you do not need to remove these black screws unless you want to do a uh, repaste. So I'm going to do a repaste. So I am going to remove these screws. Now, once you remove all the screws on the bottom, you're gonna keep it in this way and we're gonna open up these sides like that. Not too hard, but very really tough, you can't break it. Just open it up with this finger, just push the other one, bring it outward and grab it like this and pull it out. Again, one screw right there. You can take this power outside, clean it, wash it out if you want. Now here we have the console. You're gonna grab this shield on the top, lift it up straight. With a toothbrush, you can clean it up. It's obviously dirty. Now we're gonna lift up this power unit. Just lift it up straight upward. Has a little thermal putty. You can grab it, squish it back together, and put it right on top. And now you take it outside. Use a compressed air to clean the inside of this one. Don't use an air can. Use a compressed air to blow it or clean it. I'll leave a good link for a good compressor. And we've got the compressor air, it's a dry air and it will not damage the electronics. All right. Next, you want to remove this fan system, bring it upward and pull this cable jack 
this jack right there. Pull it out. You can take it outside, use a toothbrush and clean it up nicely inside out. All right, and that's and uh, you can use again this one and um, with a toothbrush and you can just clean it up nicely and you don't have to change the thermal paste. But if yours is still after cleaning the dust, it still uh, feels like a jet engine, you might want to change the thermal paste. In order to go further and change the thermal paste, you want to keep watching. Now we need to remove the, the on off switch button right in here, one is screw. All the black, black screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about it. And remove the front panel screw. Okay, you want to lift it up evenly from all four sides upward. Remove the Wi Fi antenna. Lift it up evenly. Now you want to remove this lock system on this USB port in here. So you want to lift, bring it up straight upward. Yeah, there's the one. Now, you want to lift it up like this and bring it towards yourself. And on the bottom, you can see thermal putty for the RAM right in here. I don't know, this is an internal memory storage. And this is your external, uh, your hardware right there. So we need to remove this bracket right in here. We are going to grab a, a point. You can grab a, a screwdriver and just make it a pointy, just like that. And uh, what you want to do in here, you want to stick it between on the back side of this curved hinges right there, and you want to lift it up so it comes like that. Do this side and then do the cross each other. There we go. Now these two are loose. You want to do this side. There we go. And that's how you can remove the X clamp on the back end. Once you remove it, Put it down and then lift up the board, bring it up. And there's your VRAMs and thermal putty right in here, which there's nothing in here. And there's a CPU and GPU right in the middle. All right, to clean it up, you need a little bit of the workshop towel. So I'm going to rip a little bit in the corner here. You don't need to change the thermal putty, but I'll leave the link for uh, thermal putties. You can buy them and change them. You don't get any performance increase by changing the thermal parties. They don't get that hot, so that's still good. You can just wipe over the crystal dye. You don't need to clean up around it, but if you want to do, you can be really nifty about it and go ahead and clean around it. Make sure you clean up the heat thing. The thermal paste, it is really dried up. Uh, we can, if you want to clean around the capacitors, grab a plastic one, a spatula, and just put a little alcohol right on top. One spray, two spray, and then gently you want to work around in here, make sure you don't damage the capacitors. But again, if you're not experienced enough, don't do this part, just clean the crystal dye, that's all you need to clean. But if you want to do a little extensive cleaning, just clean up around it. This is not going to affect any performance or anything like that. The thermal paste is not conductive or anything. All right, now that we broke the seal for the old thermal paste, you can use a toothbrush, toothbrush to clean it up. All right, there we go. Nice clean. So you can grab another piece of the workshop towel. Do a nice wipe on top. Wipe in here. Take it outside, clean it up, obviously. And put one line on the CPU and GPU right there. Next, you want to grab the heatsink. Make sure you grab the same orientation that you left, just like this. Now what I do, I'll put this one down like that. Then I know this one goes over like this. And I'll bring it right over and I'll set it down. Once you put it down, keep with your finger right there so you don't move it. Hook down this corner, hook it right there. Just kind of hook. Hook it right underneath. Bring it straight over before you push it down. Make sure it's nice and you're looking through the hole. You can see the screw right there, the screw hole. You want to put it on a flat table and you just want to push it down and it just snaps into its place. And that's how you know it's in place. Once you've done that, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, bring it like this, put the I.O. side down in 45 degree angle all the way inside. 
bring it down and just drop it like you mean it. And next thing is to grab this lock system for the USB and just slide it right over. Right there. I, I haven't cleaned the fan, I have to open it up and clean it up later on, but I still gotta do a few other stuff in here. Increase the storage. So if you have cleaned your fan, just bring your fan, put the connector right in there and put the fan right on top. Grab the PSU, make sure the pins in here has to go through here. So you want to bring it like this. Squish. Bring it down straight and push down in this and make sure it goes all the way in. Grab this cover here, put it right on top like that. Now you can go ahead and put the side panels. Put this one in here, this one right there, and this one right there. And put the black screws on this board. Right, once we put all the screws on the side panels, we're going to grab the console. We're going to put this one right there. Down. We're going to grab it in 45 degree angle. We're going to bring it down all the way inside the front. Put it right in there. Now it's not going down because of these side panels. It hinges right in here. So you want to open them up and push them aside and it's going to just drop in there and then close it down. Make sure these hinges are nicely aligned. On the corners. Now down here we're gonna put all the screws in its place. All these tiny black screws goes right on the X clamp where the CPU was and the long screws goes the one that you can push all the way in and the short one goes in the rest of the place. Again I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you did you know what to do click that like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any question or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. I'm just gonna finish up putting all the screws and that should be all for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just remember the long screws, they have to go all the way in, almost all the way in. And the short screws pretty much go in right away. So pretty much you just have to hold it and screw it in. And the bottom cover just slides in in an offset position. Let me show you that quickly before I put Waste your time showing that how I remove the screws. So put this one in an offset position and then push it towards yourself and put the two screws on the side and the covers for the screw. And that's how you do it. And that should cover up this video. Thanks for watching.